Hey, Zach here, and in today's video, I'm gonna reveal my top five pro tips for kettlebell training that I've collected from leading thousands of training sessions with clients across all fitness levels. These are simple technique tweaks you can start using today to increase your strength, power, and results with the basic kettlebell exercises you already know and use. Let's start with the Turkish get up, but more specifically, the get down. If you've been doing get ups for long enough, you've probably accidentally lunged back with the wrong leg and gotten all jumbled up. And when you have a heavy weight over your head, you need to be absolutely confident in your movement patterns. So pro tip number one is to simply tap the leg that you're going to use to lunge back with. It'll always be on the same side as your free hand. To ensure a smooth transition to the leg sweep, I also use that free hand to guide my front knee out to the side and push my hip into a deep hinge. The single arm kettlebell swing is an exercise in hip power and anti-rotation. And because you're working with an asymmetric load, your free hand plays a key role in maximizing power output and keeping your torso square. The last thing you want is a floppy free arm or one that pushes off your leg. As Sean Mosen would say, if you want to improve your one arm swing, you must swing with both arms. So pro tip number two is matching the movement of the loaded arm with your free arm in the one arm swing. The free arm will swing back in the backswing and come up to tap the kettlebell handle at the apex of the swing. Doing this will help keep your torso square while contributing to the momentum of the swing itself. The bottoms up kettlebell press is one of my favorite lifts and it's often the first pressing exercise that I teach to new clients because of how great it is for grip and shoulder strength and also because you don't have to contend with bruised forearms like you would from the standard clean. But that bottoms up position is also pretty tricky to balance in the hand. And that is where pro tip number three comes in. You can get a perfect alignment every time by taking a pistol grip on the kettlebell handle and actually leaning on it as if you were going to do a push up off the handle. Keep that grip tight, tip the kettlebell back, and clean as usual. Your grip and balance will feel rock solid, giving you the very best foundation to press from. If there's one underlying technique that can instantly boost your performance in the ballistic lifts, it is your breathing pattern. Of course, there are many valid breathing methods when it comes to lifting, but we're gonna focus on the power exhalation often used in hard style kettlebell training. And this pro tip comes down to the timing of that exhalation. Now, when it comes to the kettlebell ballistic lifts of the swing, clean, and snatch, a lot of people get in the habit of breathing out at the top of the movement, like this. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you're losing the real advantage of the power exhalation, which is to supercharge your hip extension power. Now, when you breathe in sync or exhale in sync with the hip snap, you'll find that the bell moves far more easily, like this. So that's your pro tip, exhale with the hip. The snatch is the ultimate kettlebell ballistic lift. And between the hip extension, high pull, lockout, and downward catch, there's a lot going on. While there are tons of little pointers I could give to improve the snatch, there's one big pro tip that makes a huge difference for everyone that I show it to. Now, like we discussed earlier, your free arm plays an important part when it comes to asymmetrical lifts. And for the kettlebell snatch, there's a specific technique you can use to supercharge each and every rep. 
Pro tip number five is the so-called lion's roar snatch as described by Pavel Masik. And it goes like this. On the backswing, the free arm matches the working side, reaching down and back. As the hip extends, the arm swings forward to reinforce the snap. As the bell travels up, the elbow bends into a guard position to help keep the torso square. As you catch the kettlebell overhead, simultaneously spear your free hand down. This will support a strong, stable lockout and you'll feel rock solid all the way down to your feet. Pause for a second to really make sure your entire body is engaged and aligned. As the bell falls, bring the arm back up to the guard position and retrace your steps into the backswing. And there you have it, five tips that'll have you lifting kettlebells like a pro. Drop a comment with your favorite kettlebell training tip and be sure to check the description for links to all of my kettlebell training programs. Wishing you all the best in your training and we'll see you in the next video.